under Christophe Galtier's astute leadership, Saint-Étienne finished seventh last season. They faced Lille, third last campaign, who named new signings Marvin Martin and Solomon Kalou in the starting lineup. If Saint-Étienne have been tipped by many as outsiders for a European spot, Lille are widely considered the most credible challengers to PSG. Saint-Étienne's Bakary Sacco let fly with the game's first serious effort. Mikel Londro in behind it. Lille's first major opportunity came from a corner from former Saint-Étienne man Dimitri Payet. Nolan Roux heading straight at Stefan Ruffier. Former Brest striker Roux has the responsibility of filling the goal-scoring void left by Eden Hazard's transfer to Chelsea. Ruffier didn't appreciate the Levert marking there and it was nil-nil at half-time. Champions League winner Kalu hoping to show more after the restart. His side went in front in the 57th minute, Payet with the delivery, Aurelian Cheju heading in. Home captain Loic Peram muscled out of it by the big Cameroonian defender. Sacco's radar wasn't quite in order for Saint-Étienne, who relied on new signings Renaud Coad and Romain Amouma to make the breakthrough. Amouma with a delightful finish to a one-touch move. Coad played the final ball, and Amouma, the €4 million Euro signing from Com, chested down before applying the coup de grace. 1-2 between Coad and Amuma, giving Saint-Étienne ideas for the future. The old subs played a major role in Rudy Garcia's side's winner. Sub Tullier de Mello's layoff to Payet invited him to shoot. The ball rebounded to Benoit Pedretti, and the Lille sub showed his polished technique to score the winner. Bowsy Goulam's flicked header after a Ruffier save fell to Pedretti. A lovely half volley and Lille off to a flying start. <laughs> 